first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5.30. St. Joseph County Democrats and Republicans are going back and forth over a proposal to reduce the number of places you can vote. Now, the possible changes were prompted by new state laws. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw is here now. And Zach, why is this being talked about now? Well, just two months ago, Rick, new Indiana laws allowed for more voters in each precinct, from 1,200 to 2,000. Initially, Republicans and Democrats saw an opportunity to consolidate, avoid having to find poll workers, and save some money. But politics are never that easy, and what once looked like bipartisan support has turned into a battle. The St. Joseph County Democratic Party didn't parse words. At best, this is poor decision making by Chairwoman or by Commissioner Fleming. At worst, it is a deliberate attempt to suppress the vote here in St. Joseph County. That accusation is in response to Commissioner Deb Fleming's precinct reduction proposal. Right now, the county has 221 precincts, some of which share physical voting locations. Commissioner Fleming's proposal will consolidate 90 of those precincts, and Democrats estimate they could eliminate roughly 55 physical voting locations. How those eliminated locations impact an election, though, depends on which party you ask. So my concern would be uh, more voters in fewer locations. Are the polling locations able to handle that increased capacity? But in St. Joe County, the last election, we had six percent of the people came out to vote. So you're telling me that if we move a you know, following state guidelines, if we go from 1,200 voters to 2,000 voters, the impact is going to be minimal because people simply aren't coming out to vote. Republicans say the move would save the county up to $100,000, eliminate the sometimes difficult to find poll worker position, and won't change voting accessibility. I'm not for discouraging voters at all, but I also am looking to the future to be fiscally responsible for the county. Democrats say if the plan even affects one person's ability to vote, it may not be worth the savings. It might make sense fiscally, but that doesn't always mean it makes sense practically. So if people want to go out and vote, they're going to vote. It's important to note Democrats were the ones who initially brought up the idea of reducing precincts, and Democrats are in favor of consolidating the ones that already vote at the same location. Both parties also agree on eliminating the more than 300 sheriff positions, which would save the county an estimated $50,000. So what's next in this debate then? Well, at the next commissioner's meeting in two weeks, they could approve the plan, kind of no questions asked. The Democrats, though, want that decision delayed. And the good news is both parties tell me they're willing to kind of come to the table, have a conversation, and maybe reach a compromise. Could take a little more time, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.